see what I've got going on here. It's my microphone because I don't have one, so. I'm going to use my phone as a microphone because it's raining and you won't be able to hear a word that I'm saying. So, I'm doing a massive overhaul on McFry over here. And this is all the stuff I've got behind me. Um, two boxes of Haltech. Got a brand new Aeromotive fuel cell with a 10 GPM brushless pump. And I bought two Accufab throttle bodies. So this is going to be going on the big block when it goes back in the car. So I'm going with 16 injectors. Um, uh, methanol but I'm going to have different tunes so I wanted to be able to run 98, E85 and methanol in the car so I'm trying to make it more versatile <laughs> just more suitable to do everything I want to do in the car so the Haltech's more for the safety side of things um, the EGT's, all that sort of stuff and I'm still keeping nitrous so um, it's going to be, <coughs> methanol is mainly going to be for events like power crews and that sort of thing and um, also fit in an oil cooler as well so because I want to be able to try and do a drift event again but obviously the big block just gets really hot um, so I'm just trying to make the car a little bit more reliable because I'm sick of breaking it <laughs> so yeah, so, and then also I'm going to have two dry stages of nitrous. So I can have a, um, probably just, I'll probably maybe try to set up one stage so I can use it with a methanol, because I know nitrous and methanol, a lot of guys don't, and there's a lot of tunes out there for that sort of stuff, but I wouldn't mind just having, um, I don't know, maybe like a 200 horsepower shot or something, if the pump will do it, which I'm pretty sure it will. Um, just for events, so when I'm at power crews, if I've got methanol in the car, I'm running methanol all day. If I want to do some of the off-street racing or any of the racing sort of stuff, um, I can use methanol and just use, um, yeah, one stage of nitrous. But I want to put two on it, so um, if I want to get serious, take it to the track and try and, because I really want to do a high seven in the car, I've always wanted to do it, I just haven't got there, so... Um, I wouldn't mind having a separate tune up as well down the track so I could run um, some good race fuel, do maybe 500 horsepower nitrous, whatever it takes to get it to a 799 or something. And yeah, so that'd be, that's something I'm going to try and do with the car after I get it up and running. So obviously, the problem I have with the car at the moment is I just keep breaking it. It's like never ending. So the Haltech is here. And it's going to make everything reliable. So when there's a problem too, it's going to help pick it up quicker. So there's, it's not like a huge explosion going on. Um, I've also bought a Pro Ratchet Shifter as well. So currently at the moment I've got a, um, just a gate sort of shifter. So I just wanted one of the ratchet ones. Because there's been times where I've gone to change gear and you've got to pull the lever in. It's a bit of a pain. So... I just want to go with a ratchet shifter so I can just whack it too to change gears not have to worry about pushing it too far and that sort of thing. Overall that's all I really got here so I'm going to swap over to my phone camera and we're going to have a look at other stuff. Ah, that's better. So, oil cooler. I just bought a PWR um, stack plate one and I'm actually going to try and fit and a fan to it because that fan pumps so and then I'll be able to set it up in the Haltech um, just to turn the fan on when the oil is cooking also bought a new dual diaphragm brake booster which is a factory HZ style one to replace the Chinese one not that I've had any dramas with that one I um just want to put a factory one on this car that's all so that one has been good but um, yeah I've always just got a thing for factory stuff so I just wanted to put that on it 
Um, I'm possibly going to have to figure out how to do all this stuff because I'm going to have eight coils for the engine, so I'm either going to have to put the coils on the rocker covers or I don't really have much room elsewhere, so really the only option in this car is going to be the rocker covers, I think. Or I could move this, is the other option, and relocate that. But I'll just decide that fate a little later. Um, so this is my trans cooler, and I've mounted this thing upside down. And the problem I've found when you have this upside down is all the fluid runs back into the transmission when you turn it off and where my dipstick goes in isn't sealed very good on the box so if I leave it sit for a day it starts leaking transmission fluid out the floor and makes a mess so I'm going to mount this upright in a better position and I'm going to mount the oil cooler for the engine in between that area there so I'm going to pretty much sandwich these two together put the fan on the front get rid of this catch can, I'll probably have it mounted over this side with a fan on it um, just to neaten that up this catch can is going to get relocated or moved it's just a Raceworks catch can um, I'm going to try and relocate that um, out of in front of the radiator and I've got a little lithium battery I'm going to see if I can squeeze it over in that corner which it should fit, so if I can do that, I'm going to try and put the little battery over there because it's only four kilos. Um, this radiator's been perfect for the car. This is just a Chinese, uh, I think it was like a $160 radiator. It was that cheap, which is good because you can buy about multiple of them, so if they ever stuff up, it's not a big deal. And I've fitted two Spal shroud fans on this radiator, so that cooling setup is very simple but it works so well so that has managed to do a really good job of keeping the big block cool but obviously it keeps the water cool but then the oil in the motor tends to just take off and then the oil temperature seems to be the biggest problem I've had with the big block so I'm working on trying to fix that um, yes yeah, so obviously I'm going to put that shifter in replace that one See, this is just the gate shifter, but some of the annoying stuff I've had with it is you can go up, down, but sometimes you've got to pull lever in, that sort of thing, to go to second or third. It's just a pain in the ass. So I just want to put a ratchet shifter in there, replace that. Um, might get a another GDS dash. I've got a HZ GDS dash. I might take that dash out. Maybe even sell it. And just put a GDS dash in it. And I'm going to do what I did with the Ute and put the Haltech up on top of the steering column. And I'll probably put the Nexus um, in the same spot I put it in the Ute up above behind the glove box there. Unless I can think of a better spot. Okay, I'm going to try to get a light on here here we are had to change the camera um, so in here it's very dirty and filthy so and the floors a bit kinked back here from when I hit the wall ages ago you can see the, the floor there the big kink and the whole boot floor is very wavy so originally I put the battery in the boot to um, offset some weight because the old battery is 25 kilos obviously now that battery is like four kilos, so it's a bit of a waste of time running cable from the front all the way to the back for a four kilo battery. So I'm going to get that up in the engine bay. Um, take this. There's a ProComp fuel cell, so Speedmaster, and surprisingly it held up when I hit the wall that time and all the floor creased up. <laughs> the fuel cell actually didn't leak at all, and it's still working to this day but it leaks really bad around the top. So that cell is coming out. I'm gonna put the other fuel cell in. I've got holes in the floor where I've got fuel pumps coming up. So I'm obviously gonna to have to do a lot of welding to fill in a lot of holes because all this dust and 
water, like when I was driving on the track in the rain, all the water comes up in the boot, sits down in the corners, it's going to start rusting it away, so I'm going to fill in all these holes, these are my bottle heaters for the nitrous, even that, kind of a silly idea putting the, the nitrous on this side, obviously when you've got the driver in the car, when you're actually racing, you know, you've got a driver this side, so it makes sense to put the nitrous bottles on this side so that it kind of offsets some of the weight back over to this side. So I'd probably like to get them nitrous bottles over this side. Um, fuel cell there. And that's really all I want to do on the back there. And I'll set this um, oil accumulator accumulator up in the the Haltech so that it'll only activate the the valve here when you know say oil pressure goes below a set number or something so maybe below 40 or something like that just like an emergency sort of situation so if ever for any reason there's oil runs out in the pan it's just gonna shoot oil in the motor so and possibly make it throw up a warning as well if it ever happens I've also bought a filter for the power steering this is a power steering filter it's got a magnet in it and a replaceable little element so I'm going to put that in the return line here um, as you can see, I'm not overly worried about looks. <laughs> I'm more worried about having a practical engine bay where everything's going to work. So I'm really just going to be concentrating on ripping out all the old wires, doing the rewire. Um, I'm not going to go into the... Oh, I've got to rip them stickers off because they've been on their way too long, but I'm probably not going to go into the... Um, the painting stage or anything like that. I'm literally just going to get everything converted over to the Haltech and then down the track if I want to give the car a birthday I can give it a respray but not overly fussed. I've also got a CVR uh, brake pump behind this which is for the brake booster so I might, well not might, I am replacing that with just this little tiny one which is like a cheap $80 one and the whole reason for that is is purely weight like this thing is light small so I can put this thing where I put it in the ute which is up behind there behind the guard so you won't even see it uh, put a map sensor on it so the Haltech can turn this on and off based on vacuum and get rid of the CVR one I'll end up selling that too. Um, overall, that's what I'm doing with the car. So, a fair bit going on. And Power Cruise Queensland is... Power Cruise Queensland is only two months away. So, I'm just going to get stuck into this. Hoping that I can get it all done. And get the car to Power Cruise Queensland. Like with, if not, I'll take the ute. But... If I can get this there I'm gonna try but obviously even once I get the motor back um, obviously we're to get a tune and everything for the EFI so it's a pretty slim chance that it'll make it but I'm just gonna stay positive so it'll motivate me to actually do it <laughs> um, and I'm saying this now so it's gonna motivate me so if I don't say it on a video then I won't have motivation so I'm going to try and, this is trying to help me, motivate me to get me to actually work on the thing. Otherwise I won't, don't want to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to get stuck into it and um, I'll probably do another video after I rip everything out and just start relocating things around and I'll explain why I'm doing stuff, like why I'm putting stuff here, there and everywhere. Obviously when I first built this car it was just put stuff wherever, but now I'm more about getting weight transfer and all that sort of stuff so if I can get weight out of the car I'm going to get it out if I can get weight in the boot rather than up the front I'm going to try and do that too so that's just all the sort of stuff that I'm going to um, 
be working on with the car so yeah cool so i'll um be back with another video hopefully in a week or two and we'll see where we're at thanks for watching guys and remember to uh subscribe and stuff do all that stuff you know what you got to do and also i've got shirts if you want to buy some shirts uh don't have many black ones left but i have a lot of blue ones so on the website even if you just jump on google type in mcfryer t-shirts they'll come up so